right, let's do this. Unboxing. So I think this is JRL. JRL sent me uh, some clickers. Shout out to my boy Squeak. Squeak Pro Barber. I told him I'm not a fan of the clicky, like the clicky clippers, because I like I just I'm not used to it. And I've tried, I've tried like the Babyliss, uh Valar, Valer, Valaris, however you call them. I just, I just, I, I told my, maybe I didn't spend enough time with it. So I told them, I've tried them out. I spent some time with them, uh, but they sent me some good stuff, man. They sent me a lot, a lot more than I expected. So they sent me uh, these cards. What? They cards. I don't know if you guys, if you. Any, if any of y'all actually rock with the JRLs, comment below. Let me know what you think about them. Um, again, I'm so new to this, right? All this, all this stuff. Thank you, baby. My daughter's helping pick them up. So they sent me... What are the trimmers? Trimmers and clippers, I think. Uh, and then they sent me blades for both, both of them. Self-sharpening titanium blades. Let me open this, this up. They're nice clippers. They're nice looking clippers. I just wish they had a lever, man. A lever? A lever. I'm a lever guy. I don't even like the tactical clippers like that. The packaging is nice though, right there? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm gonna keep this for, uh, I'm gonna keep the box. So, this is a dope packaging. I gotta give it to them on that. The packaging is sick. Let me have that box. Nah, I'm gonna say I was gonna keep the box. We got two. All right, you can have you can have half of one. But yo, this is a really nice box. I respect it, and it's different. Nobody packages their clippers like this. All right, they did a good job with the whole packaging, the whole vibe and feel of them. They're nice nickel. Looks like nickel or whatever. They feel they feel high quality. Quiet. Yeah, see I man. Like as soon as you push this button, boom, it's it slams all the way all the way open. So like at least let me do this. Like let me do this. Let me play back and forth with it like this. Like cause you know sometimes you go from you wanna open it just a little bit. You don't want to open it all the way. What's the numbers on the bottom? Huh? What's the numbers on the bottom? I guess that's the speed level. I guess that's like the fastest speed. Yeah. One thing I heard though, like, oh, okay. No, that's the battery. Why does it say burden? See, like as soon as you push that button, it goes boom real fast. I want to be able to just go, look, that's hard, man. So I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna I'm gonna be fading down with this clipper. Like I'm not, I'm barely gonna, I'm barely going to um fade up because if I go closed. If I go closed, then I gotta be careful. Look how it opens up mass spots. But anyways, it it's a high quality clipper. That's there's no denying that. Like this ain't I thought that this was like a Chinese cheap clipper. Mm -hmm. But it's actually a high quality clipper. Let's see what else is in here. And this isn't my review by no means. Like I'm I'm gonna actually play with the clipper. I'm gonna take my time with it. This is just an unboxing. Comes with the charger. Comes with a charger. Comes with. Nah, these guards. These these guards ain't it, Chief. Now, I, now I understand why what's, they. What's wrong with them? Come on. They're plastic. Nah, all all guards are plastic, but yo, this is like. This is like what comes in your Walmart, um, Conair, Norelco, um, sixteen and one, um, beard trimmer. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But these these seem legit, so I'm definitely using these. Not gonna use these. Like, stop playing with me. Wow. But it comes with the oil. Comes with the oil. The brush. This is the kiss brush. 
All right, I respect it. I respect the packaging. Let's look at the trimmer real quick. This is just an unboxing, guys. This is just an unboxing. What's in there? The charger? This is the dock. Yeah, so it comes with a dock. Let me see how... Let me look at the dock. Oh, the dock is nice, too. Very nice quality. I don't know what this... What is this button? Hold on. Let me plug this. I don't know. I'm not going to plug this thing out. This is, again, just an unboxing. But it has a button here. Interesting. Can you, like, not charge it? So that, like, it can be on the dock. Maybe it's, like, a click in and out button. No. I think what it is. Okay. Oh, the end. I don't know. Let me see. It's, I guess it's on the dock. It's just not sturdy. I guess it doesn't have to be. You just boom, ready to go. We'll see once I plug it in and stuff. It's nice though. Maybe it's like to, to so that you can put it on the dock and not charge it because it has a full charge and you don't want to kill the battery, overcharge it, right? But okay, I respect this so far. So far, I respect it. Can't wait to use it in the shop. Let's look at the trimmer. Now this, I, I I'm, I'm open minded. I'm open minded, but the trimmer, I don't know. We're gonna see. But I'm open minded. One thing I hear about them though is that the power is like second to none. The power is insane on both of these. And yes, yeah, same thing, really dope packaging. There you go. Mm. Low, medium, high. So I'm definitely gonna switch it to the T-Blade, right? I'm definitely gonna switch it to the T-Blade. To the and definitely gotta zero gap these a little bit more. And I'm assuming it comes with, has the user's manual, warranty card, and the charging dock, and the little, Connor and Norelco. Alright, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to try all this out. And uh, that was the unboxing. Look out for the review. I still gotta drop the Cola Senior review, um, the 1919s. But if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, smash the like button, let me know in the comments what you think about your JRLs. And um, yeah, I'll be posting a review after I actually use these and I fill them out so I can give an honest, open minded uh, review on them. And I'll even do like some haircut tutorials with them. So check it out.